Now let's uh, spend a second talking about the runner-up uh, for Dirk Van Dijvenboda's second TV final following on the World Grand Prix final a couple years ago. How close do you think he is, though, to winning that first stage title in the PDC? Yeah, I don't think he's far away at all. And we were speaking a similar question about this. I think it was when Luke Humphreys won one of his three Euro Tour titles and we were talking about who could be the next first time winner on the European Tour and Dimitri van der Berg's name came up, as did Dirk van Dijvenboda's name and as did Damon Hett's name and two of those have won titles on TV, all three of them yet to win on the Euro Tour. And I think with, with Dirk, he's someone that he's getting close, isn't he? We, we saw him get to that World Grand Prix final a couple of years ago. This was his next final on TV. So it's been a, a little while between finals, but we have seen that when he is on form, when he does produce his top level, he is capable of, of beating anyone in the world. I mean, you look at what he's done quite recently, the the World Cup, he had that 110 average. He had uh, a 107 average against Michael Smith. OK, he lost that game, one of the, the Pro Tour finals a couple of weeks ago. But if you're producing games of that standard, you are going to win more often than not. And looking at the Euro Tour, I think he's had three quarterfinals this year. More often than not, he is losing with a high average, a 95-plus average. So he's been playing well for a little while now, and we saw it at the weekend as well. There was pretty much all the games that he won, he did it in impressive style. The game against Peter Wright won that game 6-3 with a 95 average. The game against Martin Kliermacher, OK, it dropped below 90, but when he had to be clinical, when the doubles had to go, he, he was taking them, and... I think the most impressive game was the, the game against James Wade, the semi-finals. It was a, a really close game. James Wade's taken out 140 to uh, to go 6-5 up to hold throw. Dirk was sitting on 25 to break. And there would have been some players that would have seen that shot go in and the head would have dropped. They'd have given up. But, but we saw Dirk hold his throw in 14 darts, force that decider. And James Wade in, in a decider, you, you're probably fancying him to go on and win that final leg. But kicks off with a 41 Dirk throws in a, a 140 and he, he played that last leg really well. OK, it was a 17 dart, so not the best leg of the match. But after that first visit from both players, he was in control right until the end and took out that 72 confidently in, in two darts to win it 7-6. So that's a big scout for him. And OK, the final didn't go very well for him. <laughs> Losing 8-2 with a, a 94 average and Dimitri just got off to such a good start in that final and he couldn't come back. But yeah, I think we're seeing Dirk, he is proving himself to be one of those top players, you know, he's a top 16 player at the moment. Top eight is uh, that's the, the next step. And he is going to have to have more runs in the, the major ranking events to get there. But Euro Tour title, I think he is going into these weekends as a, a genuine contender to win one. We've seen that on the stage, he is a character. He loves playing on the stage. He, he shows his emotions, his heart on his sleeve. Maybe that could be to his detriment sometimes, but we have seen at times as well, that he can hold it together in those crunch moments. He can beat these top players. And if you're doing that and you're doing it regularly, you have got a shot of winning one of these titles. Yeah. And you mentioned his uh, averaging over 95 more often than not. And I'll just go based on the players championship events. I know this question is about winning a stage title, but there's a bigger, there's been, there's more players championship events and there's more matches that you play in them. So there's a bigger, uh, pool of matches we can look at and just looking at this season uh dividing it up to the first 10 events and the seven since then in the first 10 events he played 24 matches so averaged uh winning about a match and a half per them and half the time he averaged under 95 half the time he averaged over 95 including three times averaging over 100 in the seven tournaments since then he's played 29 matches that's an average of four matches per tournament so that's an average of three matches that's averaging winning his board over the last seven players championship events and you mentioned he's won a title he's made a final during that time of those 29 matches only eight times has he averaged under 95 nearly half the time 14 of those 29 he's averaged over 100 with a further seven matches over 95 he's added a good three to five points on his average over the last couple months in the players championship events and it's shown elsewhere it obviously showed this past weekend in the netherlands in the world series event the bigger concern though is can he keep this can he consistently play at that level if he consistently plays at the level he's played at the last couple months he is a top eight player he might even be better than that but if he regresses to how he was for the first few months of the year sure he's a top 32 player but not much more than that and 
that was a bit of the consistency problems that we've seen from him over the last couple of years. When he's on, he is unbelievably good. He is one of the best players in the world, but he hasn't been on enough. That said, to win a Euro Tour event, you only have to be on for a couple of days. Same for a couple of the other TV events, particularly the ITV majors, the European Championship or the UK Open. And his A game is that good that if he can just find it for a weekend, he'll win a he'll win a Euro Tour or he'll win a major. He even made the final of a week long event in the World Grand Prix a couple of years ago. I don't think it's too far off. And playing at the level he's been playing at for the last couple months, it's almost surprising he hasn't managed to win one. He made it to this final. He's obviously also won a players championship event during that time. So he's it's it is coming. I don't think he needs to improve any to win a title compared to how he's playing right now. But he needs to be able to bring this level of game m- more often and for a longer period of time. As I said, right now he looks like a top eight player. Can he maintain that is the question. Uh, he definitely has the game too. Uh, will he, though, I guess is more the question than can he.